Active versus passive listening. What is the difference? Listening is so crucially important in language learning. If you don't listen properly or enough, it would be very hard to produce the language in a meaningful way. There are two types of listening: passive and active. Passive listening is when you have some sort of English, let's say a podcast, playing in the background. You don't give it your full attention because you're doing something else, like driving or working out at the gym. While it may seem ineffective, it in fact is very effective for developing the musicality of the language. Before we begin, I want to welcome you all to Smart and Easy English. My name is Ben. I'm American and a native speaker from California. If you want to speak English natively and naturally, you're in the right place. You have found your channel, so be sure to click that subscribe button. Thanks. Have you ever had a song stuck in your head? Maybe the melody of the song. Yet it's not like you were actively listening to the song, reading the lyrics, or listening word for word. Yet, how did it become seared in your brain? This is the goal of passive listening. When you start learning a language, your brain receives input of new sounds, which means nothing to it. Your brain doesn't recognize these sounds or words as something significant. Your brain thinks it's just noise, and so it doesn't prioritize those sounds or words. This is why, if you don't listen to a huge amount of English, your brain won't get enough English input to prioritize it as language. Your brain will think the intermittent English it receives is just noise, and it'll take you forever to understand English. But anyway, back to your brain prioritizing the sounds you hear, the sounds being spoken English. You have to get massive input of English before your brain starts to understand that those sounds, those words, are something meaningful and significant. And it is then that your brain will prioritize those sounds, and it is then that you'll start to recognize those sounds as language, and then you'll start to understand the language. Also, during these periods of massive amounts of passive listening. And by the way, you must only listen to clear, perfect native speaker English. You'll absorb the melody of the language, the accent, intonation, pronunciation, word stress, etc. When you've absorbed enough, it'll be easier to reproduce the language with a native speaker accent without trying too hard. It's that aha moment, as we say, when you say a word or sentence in a certain way that sounds super native, and yet you don't know. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because you've done massive amounts of passive listening to natives, and you didn't even think to intone that way. It became natural. That's the beauty and triumph of passive listening. So do massive amounts of passive listening. There's no such thing as too much passive listening if you're a language learner. At the beginning. If you can tolerate having English playing in the background 12 hours a day, by all means, do it. The work is front-loaded, but you'll reap the benefits later in ways you can't imagine. And if you care about accent and pronunciation, and you want to sound like or close to a native speaker, you absolutely must do massive amounts of passive listening. So, as I've said, passive listening is. English playing in the background while you're doing other things, you're not giving it your complete attention. What could you passively listen to? Audiobooks, YouTube videos. If you pay for YouTube Premium, you skip the ads and can turn off your screen. You can also passively listen to live streams. Movies aren't the best because there are competing sounds like music and the sounds of other things like people walking, car noises, you know, non-language sounds. So that's passive listening. Now you should also do active listening, and with active listening, you won't be doing anywhere near as much. And whenever you don't have time to actively listen, always default to passive listening. Basically, try to listen to English as much as possible, be it active or passive. 
active listening is when you listen with full attention. Maybe you're sitting at your desk, you're following along reading the subtitles to a video or reading the transcript. Maybe you're reading the physical book while listening to the audiobook so you can attach the sounds you hear to the words on the page. Perhaps you're taking notes. Maybe you're shadowing. Shadowing is when you pause the audio and try to repeat exactly what the speaker said, exactly as they said it. You could even transcribe what you hear, writing down words you don't recognize or don't know the meaning of. You should supplement passive listening with active listening. But unlike passive listening, which you should ideally do for hours and hours, active listening can be as short as 15 minutes a day. Of course, an hour would be amazing. But the point of active listening is to try and comprehend what you hear, to try and make the association between the sounds you hear and the actual words, to see the words on a screen or page as you hear them. Active listening is when you pay close attention to how a native pronounces words. And if you're able to read along by using subtitles or a transcript, you'll understand how a sentence should be intoned in order to fit the mood and emotion of the words. So make sure you do passive and active listening. They're both important and the bedrock of your English speaking. Enjoy the journey. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.